there and welcome to day three of your jump rope workout series. Let's get going. All right, today is our leg day. So we're gonna start with some jump rope and then mostly do our legs. So let's warm up, let's stretch out those arms. I don't know about you, but I am super sore from yesterday's arm workout. We're definitely focusing on our legs here today. If you see to my left, I have some of the materials we'll be using. If you have it, great. If you don't, no big deal. Let's stretch those arms. I'm mostly doing these arm warm-ups right now because I'm so sore. So I had my jump rope, of course. You can use a normal jump rope, a cordless jump rope, or nothing, a towel, anything you got. Let's turn our head. I have one heavy weight. That can be your choice of weight. And I have a one smaller weight, your choice of weight. And then I have a band that we're gonna put around our legs. Let's twist our bodies. If you don't have a band, no big deal. I will show you some modifications, some other things you can do. Also, just remember, body weight is always great. So let's take our arms up and let's roll on down. Let's stretch out those hips. Get our legs nice and warm. Let's take a plie, a bend, and stretch. Bend and stretch. Take one arm to one side. Really stretch that leg out. Give a plie, a bend. Switch. Now let's open up our legs. Look at me, put a smile on your face. You made it here. This is the accomplishment, you push play. In just a couple seconds, we're gonna start our workout. Stretch, do anything your body really needs. We're gonna do, why don't you um, bend your legs with me, let's get going. We're gonna be doing cardio first, which is our jump rope section, which will warm up your body. Purposeful of why I do that. So let's go ahead, give yourself a hug. Tell yourself you've already done the hardest thing, which is push and play, and let's get started with grabbing jump ropes. All right, in 20 seconds, we are gonna start our jump rope series. We are doing 10 minutes of jump roping. Doing the same format I've done all week, which is 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, and this is gonna really get our heart rate going, get our blood flowing, and it's gonna be great. So you got 10 seconds, follow along. Whatever you have, whatever you don't have, does not matter, you push play, that's all that matters. Three, two, let's go, just normal. Anyone else notice when they jump rope that their sinus is clear? I've been getting that all week. Super strange. If this is a little too heavy to start, you can totally just do this. Honestly, I might do that. These are boxer jumps. My arms are super sore. My calves are super sore. So I hope you're along the journey with me. It's good. It means we're using stuff that have not been being used. You have 10 more seconds. Actually, last you have four, three, two, take a break. 10, jumping, so we're already on number nine. Moving fast. This is just a 45 minute workout. Tomorrow will be a shorter again because we're just gonna do cardio, abs, and then Friday, or your fifth day, will be full body. Now we're gonna go into little, little knees in three, two, one. These are like medium knees, so I'm not coming up high. We're just starting this workout. We're trying to get our blood moving, get our hearts thumping. Yesterday's workout, my dog Oreo was not in the room, but she is today, so there's a good chance you will see her. Hopefully she doesn't ruin anything. All right, you got 15 seconds. Whoops. Sometimes I hit myself with these. Be careful, guys. Four, three, two, one, take a break. Whew. Breathe, have some water. Really, every time I work out, just jump over my sinuses. Crazy. We're gonna do jacks next, which we've done all week. And three, two, one, let's go. When you're jump roping, I suggest you try your very best to hold your core. My hands are falling down. Um, when you hold your core, the rest of your body really ignites. You probably are naturally doing it regardless. But just try to be aware. So like I said, these, yesterday and today's workouts are the longest of the week. Tomorrow, 30 minute 
workout. Cardio and abs would be great. Three, two, one. Take a rest. Woo. We're on to exercise number four. Step it out. Try to keep your heart rate going. Never just stop. That's my suggestion. Whew. We're near my favorite, the, the skips. In three, two, one. If I didn't say in my last two videos, I will put the link to these cords. Got them off of Amazon, super cheap. You've lasted me pretty well. I did lose the cap to this one, but that's probably because my dog found it and I didn't find it after that. If you have the space, a oh, girl jump looks great too, but I like these because they add the weight, so it's honestly identical. Three, two, one, two, three. Roll out those ankles if you feel a little stiff, mine are. I should have done a little bit more of an ankle warm up. Do whatever your body needs. This is your workout. We're gonna go back to boxer down, stepping back and forth in five. Three, two, one, let's go. Halfway through our jumping. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Heather. You often see my dog named the Oreo. I incorporate jump roping into every single workout because it's my favorite. You never see it. There's always just like a couple workouts with jump roping, but not an entire series. And there's so many different things you can do with jump roping. So this channel is designed to cater to your jump roping heart. <laughs> you got five, four, three, two, one. As always, if you are enjoying, please subscribe. It's the only way I can keep doing this. And hopefully one day, move out of my little, little New York City apartment and actually have the space to teach you. Got 10 more seconds of rest. You're gonna go to the end of your mat. We're gonna do high knees forward and butt kicks, butt, butt kicks back. Oh my gosh, let's go. This gets a little tricky because you think, oh, I lost my jump rope. You think you do it opposite, which makes it more of a challenge. Here we go. You're killing it. If this is too much, just go in place. Five, four, three, two. And don't run over your dog. Take a breather. So close. We're gonna do normal jump for me, but you're gonna go forward, side, back, side. Let's go. Switch, switch, switch. Keep it up. And other side. Jump it forward. Let's change to a box. Two, one, two, three. Oh. Should have worn better pants for this. We got ten seconds. All right, now we're new. Jacks again, let's go. You guys are so close. This is our last jumping exercise. And we'll move on to our legs. Keep it up. Four, three, two, 
two. Take a breather, you got one minute. Put it in one of your knees like this. Can you 
can you move please? And you're gonna lift like that. If you have a band, just use your band. We're gonna start in five, we're doing hydrant. Five, four, three, two, one. I need to fix my band, it's rolling, but you know what? I'll do it on my next break. We're just doing one leg right now. I hope I'm not the only one working out with a dog. It definitely makes it a more fun atmosphere. Make sure your arms are over your shoulders. You're holding your core, keeping your back flat. Three, two, one, switch sides. I'm gonna switch my, I'm gonna fix my band. If I can. There we go. You got five seconds. Other side in three, two, one. Whew. I'm literally dripping. We're already halfway through our leg workout though. This series. This second. Oh my. The sweat is real today, guys. Aren't you glad tomorrow we're not doing any arms or legs? I mean, they're definitely included in our body, but we are not focusing on it. Your body needs a break to fix all the torn muscle fibers. Two, one, take your 20 seconds, get a drink of water. Okay. We're gonna do bridges next. I am gonna keep my band on. Totally optional. Also what's optional is putting weight on you. I'm also gonna do that. Okay, get to the ground. In three, two, one, let's go. Make sure after you're doing bridges or glute bridges or whatever you wanna call them, excuse me, uh, make sure you're rolling through your back. You're not arching your back. You're kind of taking your pelvis up. Pelvis goes up. That way you're not using anything incorrectly. Yes, this is very creative. This is very fun. Dogs love this one. Keep it up. You are almost there. You got five seconds. Oh, here we are. All right, take your break. I'm going to take our band off. This next one is solely body weight. Here, go. No, we're not going to eat the band, sorry. We are going to do inner thighs. So grab whatever side you want. I'm on my left side. Put your foot in front, other leg out, and you're going to lift. Let's go. This is like your breather. Make sure that your hips are on top of each other. You're not like this or anything like that. Hope you can see since my dog has decided to join the workout. And you're just lifting your under leg up. Up. We all know this one. It's an oldie but a goodie. Tight. Five, four, three, two, one, two break. And then switch to the other side. You guys are killing this workout. I'm feeling better, my heart has slowed down a little so I can breathe again. You got 10 seconds to get ready to the other side. Same thing, hips are on top of each other, holding your core. You're not collapsing your shoulder, you're lifted up. Ooh. And three, two, one, let's lift. After this, we're gonna stand up and do one more leg exercise and then take a break. I hope you are sweating as much as I am. Five, four, 
three, two, one. So for this, it's almost like you're doing a second position plie if you're a dancer. Our feet are turned out, our hips are tucked under, so our feet are turned out, but also our knees because we're turning, we're turning out from our legs. And when you bend down, your whole body goes down. You're not tilting, you're not hinging, nothing like that. Make sure you keep your body nice and straight. You don't wanna hurt yourself. Where you should be feeling this is your inner thighs. Whew. You only have 10 seconds. And then a whole minute off. Also, I hope you've noticed you are over halfway through your workout. You're killing it. Take a break. You ready? And three, two, one, let's boxer. If you're wondering where this came from, it's when boxers are like this. That's what came from. I know you all really enjoy that moment of mine. I hope you all remember sweet Oreo, sleepy Oreo. Not when she's trying to eat my weights and distract everyone. But you know what, maybe a distraction's good. Okay, we got 10 more seconds. Take a break. You're gonna grab your, your fans like this or wrap your long one like this. Grab a towel like this. Hold your arms like this. We're gonna do this. This is a fun little variation. Less jumping, more oblique work. In three, two, one. I'm going off the beat a little bit if you're noticing, because otherwise, I do like this. It's a little bit tricky. This is less of cardio. This is more working the opposition in your body. This is working your arms, working your obliques. And it's just a nice little break from jumping. You're kind of making a figure eight with your arm. Try to keep it, keep it different. Do something a little more fun. And take a break. Next, you're gonna take, if you have cordless, you're gonna foot bound, you're cordless. If you have one big rope, you're just gonna swing it like an S. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do hopscotch, basically. We're gonna go out, in, out, in. I'm actually gonna bring these a little closer. Go you know, out, in, out, and turn around. Try not to hit yours. I'm actually gonna put my balls to the side. Haha. <laughs> Ready? Let's go. Out, in, out, in. Just keep it up. This is mostly just a mind game. It distracts you from what you're really doing. You totally won't even need a rope if you don't want it. I just like to distract myself with little games. Keep it up. Before you know it, you're already good. We have two more. We're gonna do back to my favorites, the skips. If you don't wanna skip, you can do hops like this. I just like to throw up my legs. Five seconds. Three, two, let's go. So yeah, this is the same as this, but for some reason, this feels way harder for me. Ah. 
finish it off because I know this next lay workout will be tough so let's go Pound, slow your heartbeat a little you got it shake those hips if you want to you can actually do this it's a little hard got a lot of coordination needed Band, 
is you can grab a weight and hold a weight and go. Or you can do both like I am. Or you can have nothing and it still works, I promise. You guys are killing this workout. I hope you're as sweaty as I am. Can't wait to rest after this. You got 10 seconds. Whew, okay, put that weight down. And we're gonna do our hydrants, keep on your bands, or put a weight right here. You got 10 seconds. Here, go over there. And three, two, let's go. Whoop, my band is falling, I'll have to fix that again. seconds. You're killing it. I'm tired too. Here's a little secret. This is actually my third time doing this because my camera decided to stop recording halfway through the last recording. So I had to do this part again. Take a break. So I am just as tired as you. Go. Fix my band here. We got 15 seconds. In six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Hi. Twenty seconds.
and three, two, one, let's go. Oh, here she goes, she adds, she likes to make this more of a challenge for me, she does this a lot. She's adding 10 pounds to my workout. Not sure if I said this last time, but. She is my personal trainer. Oh my gosh. Ah! And you're done. Stop! Boop. Make your way up for your last strength workout with weights. We are doing our sumo squat. Sorry, I keep leaving because I'm paranoid that the camera's going to stop again. I don't know why it did. Ugh. I'm going to grab my weight. Let's do our sumo squats. Let's go. Got 20 seconds. Your last workout with weight. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a minute break and then we're gonna do a quick superset and you're out of here. Time. We're doing this three times. This is our superset. This is the end of our workout. Grab your dog. Grab nothing. This is about speed. This is not about weight. And I'm not going to count with you because this is on your own. So 10 squats and 10 to most squats. Take a break. Ready? Let's go. Just because we're going faster and with no weights doesn't mean you lose your form, so be aware. These can be more like um, pulses. Once you're done, take a break for the remainder of the minute. If you're still working, keep working, don't stop. She's getting into everything today. You got it. Keep going. water break. They always say pet your dog. Let's 
Give it your best sweat. You got it. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you then.